Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. In this lecture, I am going to clear one of the most asked question that is regarding the molecular markers. We have different kinds of molecular markers, right? We have RF, RFLP, AFLP, RAPD, SSR, ISSR, SNP. Now the problem related to this molecular marker for CSI net a life science examination is that this is very very important topic. But what most of the people forget are their role where we use these molecular markers. And the second important thing whether they are co-dominant marker or only dominant marker. Yes, this is very very important uh, that you understand the nature of the marker whether it is dominant or co-dominant. And also you need to know the function of all these molecular markers. So in this video, this is going to be a mnemonic video, a trick video. And in this trick video, I am going to clear your doubt regarding how to remember all the nature of all these markers, whether they are dominant or codominant, and also uh, how to remember their functions. Okay. So for that, I have a simple sentence for you. It's basically, it's not a sentence; it's something that you can remember. A R R. We write it as R C S. Okay, R C S. R C S. And then you need to remember D C. D C. You can remember D C Comics, Marvel Comics, D C Comics. DC means the part of the comics that caters the Batman and all this. So, yeah, so R C S and then DC. So, probably think like a comic book name. R C S is the name of the comic book and then it's a part from the DC comics. This is how I remember because I am a comic fan and I read this thing. So, R C S and then this DC. With this, you can understand, you can remember important information in your brain. Now, how can we remember? I am going to uh, guide you step by step regarding that process with this A R R C S. So starting with this like as A, we have R, we have R, then we have S, we have I, we have, we have S. So what this A stand for, let me write A, F, L, P. Then the R stands for R, F, L, P. Then the another R here stands for R, A, P, D. Okay. This A stands for S, S, R. This, uh, sorry, this A stand for S, N, P. I must write this first A stand for SNP stands for SNP this I is ISSR and this last S is for SSR okay so this is we can easily write ARR SIS A for AFLP amplified fragment length polymorphism R RFLP restriction fragment length polymorphism R RAPD Random amplified polymorphic DNA, single nucleotide polymorphism, SNP, ISSR, in like SSR and ISSR, short, SSSR is also known as mini satellite and ISSR is interspersed simple sequence repeat and SSR simple sequence repeats. So, SSR is also known as micro satellites, remember that. So, this is also known as micro satellites, okay that you can remember. So, the list is given, uh, there is no, there is no other way to remember this, this is a very easy way. Now, the second thing that I want you to understand, the second important concept here and that is uh, whether they are dominant or co-dominant, for that we have this DC, DC comics, remember. So, how to adjust with this uh, different names, right, we are building a table, you can clearly see. So, how can we build this table, so here I will write it down. So, first one is D, second one is C, third one again D, fourth one again C, fifth one again D and sixth one again C. So, this is how easy it is. This is how easy it is to remember whether they are dominant or co-dominant. I am spoon feeding you. D, C, D, C, D, C. That's it. That's all that you need to do. That's all that you need to do in order to remember. So, that's why we are R, C, S. Once you put them, DC, DC, DC. So, AFLP dominant marker, RFLP co-dominant marker, RAPD dominant marker, SNP co-dominant marker, ISSR dominant marker, SSR co-dominant marker. That's it. Clear. Now, the final thing, the functions. So, if you write down functions, how to remember them? What are their functions? Again, very easy. We start with breeding. Uh, actually, not breeding. We start with the gene diversity. Start with gene diversity and breeding or genetic diversity to find out the genetic diversity in a population that's what we start with AFLP and we end with that same gene diversity study 
okay so both of these marker help in the process of genetic diversity study starting with genetic diversity ending in genetic diversity in the middle what we have uh, we still have the same like this is breeding the top one marker assisted selection which is a part of breeding and last uh, so in the two that is left in the middle so how can we put it starting with genetic diversity ending in genetic diversity and then right before that we are both breeding so ISSR breeding SNP marker resistor selection particularly but which is a part of plant breeding then the last two have uh, we have basically uh, we have finger in our map so we have finger in our map so what does that mean here uh, so gene so map means here gene mapping this is where we can use and finger for what in this case DNA fingerprinting finger printing this is why we utilize it so now you know all the important functions will go backward first we'll put gene diversity starting ending with gene diversity then we go backward first is the breeding so breeding and again much concentrated breeding that is marker assisted selection then we have finger in the map finger is DNA fingerprinting map is genetic mapping so these are the functions of all the different molecular markers and these molecular markers play a very important role very crucial role in determining uh, I mean we utilize these markers for various purpose so these are all the purpose that we determine for you know analyzing a whole population studying uh, how they are genetically related also we can study the disease profile with RFLP we study uh, you know there are more other more functions related to that but these are the primary functions that are associated with individual molecular markers and you know whether that is dominant or co-dominant in nature with the same RCIS DC mnemonic so RCIS DC trick help you to understand molecular markers RFLP, RAPD, AFLP, SNP, SSR, ISSR if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future and watch all the videos regarding tricks thank you bye